<clears throat> uh, I think everything is working and nothing is breaking. Okay. <clears throat> Hello everyone, it's Pop Locket, or CB now. Um, if you guys don't remember, like a long time ago, I was looking through my old videos, actually, um, on my channel from, like, maybe 2013, I don't exactly remember, I'd have to go back and look. Uh, yeah, about four years ago, so like, 2015-ish, and I found that I had a playthrough of this game, which is a Ninjago game, Legendary Ninja Battles, and I played this on the Cartoon Network website. It took me a bit of searching for me to find this game again, because the Cartoon Network website has totally changed and there's no Ninjago games on there now, so I actually found a different website that runs this game. And I'm gonna play it again, because it's been a while, and I'm dropping back into a Ninjago phase. So I'm gonna go ahead and play through this game, and we're gonna see what happens if I remember the controls. I don't have enough- I don't have enough patience to go through the story, but I get to play as Kaino. I, I don't remember the controls. So I'm keeping the graphics. Let's go. Yeah, sure you did, dumbass. Uh, okay. Perfect. This is good enough. Okay, space is to attack. Okay. I can double jump? No, I can't. Potions give you special powers. Imagine having special powers. I can attack things. I always sucked at this. I just had to die for a second. I don't know what is happening. I'm dying. Help me. I can't. Okay, I have no more speed boost, but that's okay, I don't need it. Um, yeah, I always sucked at this game. When I came to Jay's level especially, everyone else's levels were relatively easy. <coughs> if you knew the controls, that was. And I haven't played this game in a while, so I don't, I don't know anything. Thanks, now I can double jump. Now double jump goes away pretty quickly, so you gotta be fast. You gotta get those coins. It doesn't really matter if you get them at all, but I like to do it because shoot. <laughs> I shouldn't have missed that. Hey, hang on. I would. <laughs> I'm gonna do that again. I want the tokens because I am extra. Re, run, yeet out of my way, please. I want to use the speed boost as much as possible. And not have to redo this level again. Yay! See, I did things a lot faster then. Now I've got that, so I don't even need the double jump anymore. Now I should not miss this. <laughs> that was embarrassing. So you get this, and then... Whee! And now we're into the boss fight. Uh, I don't know. There it is. So you have to run up to this. And then, there it is, and then you have to avoid these. You have to let it attack you, basically. And then it'll light those, and then when it does, then you'll be able- It'll take off the fire ring around the dragon's head, and then you will be able to myrtleize it. Run! There we go. Okay, now i ah, I have to go up here now. Now it's a lot harder when you get up here. Cause you have to dodge and then hope it just smacks against those. Oh! And the dragon never moves, so. Oh, jeez. Did I get it? Yes! Okay. Okay, now I have to attack the head. You have to attack the head exclusively. That's the only way it works. <clears throat> you hide behind these and hope that it's. No! It, it starts to move. Ow! <laughs> it starts to move around and then. You just have to be careful because then it'll come closer and it'll be able to attack you more easily. Oh god. Come at me, bro. I'm playing best boy. What you gonna do? Ow. Okay. <laughs> that was dumb. Whee! So like those. Get over here, please. Let me attack your head. Die. Okay. Um, I'll save that. For later. They'll get closer, of course. So I just kind of have to deal with that. But. Hide underneath. Ow. Okay. I forgot it does that. 
Ah! Can you light that one up there, please? Thanks. Thanks. Go away, please, now. Please, uh, leave me alone. Ah! I have to wait. Yeah! I'm greater than you. I got that now. I didn't mean to get that, but I did it. Ah! So now... Wait. I'm closer, bro. Whee! Okay, now. Die. Die, please. Thank you. Yay! I'ma go ahead and get this. Just because I can. And now, I win! And I got all the tokens for that level, too. <laughs> and now I got all the tokens for that level, so that's good. Cole, you're trying to be a try-hard. I swear, some of these guys are worse than Kai sometimes. Whee! I fall. And now you think that would be the area where I'd die. But, I do not. I'm good at this game, I tell ya. I flashback to when I was saying five minutes ago that I hate I hate this game and I'm bad at it. I don't hate this game. This game is fun, it's just Jay's section alone that is the one that constantly pisses me off. Um, I'll get that in a second because that's a coin up there and I have to be quick about it and this regenerates. You really gotta be... Time it. No. <laughs> so close. So you have to. Be, you have to be really fast. Uh, uh, that was a fail. Okay. Ugh, I'm trying to be try hard. It's not exactly working. So I can get it. I am speed. I have to wait to land, and that is the worst part. Oh! I always get there, and then they screw it up. Okay. Alright again. I could never get this, I don't think. Like, it sucked getting this. The others are relatively easy to get. Yes! But that one was always the hardest. Ow. Asshole. Out of here. The music is this game is not as loud as I thought, but my mic is... Oh, shit. Right. I have to get that one. How do I get that one again? There should be like a double jump thing that I have to get, so drop down here. Um. Yeah, this one, I have to get like the double jump thing from over there and then come back here and get that. So I'm already down here. Oh yeah, I have this. Wait. Yes. Nice. And I murderize these guys. Uh, this for no reason, basically. Whee! I don't even need these. I just hit it. So now I can fight this guy. And this battle sucks. I remember I hated his too. Like it, it just ah. Yeah. Then he follows you with these things, and then you gotta avoid those. <coughs> That happens each time, I think. I mean, you got the birds. Basically, just get rid of the birds. And then wait until he comes around again. So you can do that. And then he brings in these guys. And then brings more difficulty with having these guys around. And then brings in more birds. So you have to deal with the birds. And it's best to get rid of them right off the bat for when he comes back. <clears throat> and then you gotta deal with these guys too, of course. Which is- it sucks. That was a waste. Cause then he starts bringing in two of these. And then he's got these little bastards. So get rid of that. Get rid of that. And when he comes around again, that one should be done. So then you just gotta super speed it. And then you just gotta avoid these, cause then it'll just refresh him anyway, so it's no point trying to get rid of the birds like right off the bat. <clears throat> and you wait for him to come around again, cause he comes a lot faster now, so you really gotta time things really good. I say as I'm... 
My recording stuff, no? <clears throat> but now, since I have these gone, he'll come around again. I'll wait for here. Fire. And, yeah, you get the, the token there. Ow. I suck. And he starts firing these more frequently and faster. So you really gotta watch it. <clears throat> and of course you gotta take out these guys too because they suck. <clears throat> really gotta be careful here. Excuse me if I'm clearing my throat a lot. My throat is just dying after whatever the hell happened in the first video. <clears throat> Actually, I'll probably just combine these. Whoop! So then you win! Whee! <coughs> There's really no point in firing them anymore. I just like to do it because of the birds sometimes. Whee! And then you win! Yay! And then I did get all the coins in that one. There's there's no point in getting the coins at all. It's There's not even achievements in this game, but I just like doing it. Uh... Uh, now here comes a level that sucks. I turn on auto fire pretty much automatically because there's like no counter on it or anything and you can't like go forward or back or anything. Uh, you can only go up and down. So, jeez. Um, this level sucks. You can go back, it just like, it's, it sucks. This guy always getting up in my business okay and then go down here i get this and then the rest of these i have to get in the boss fight i think or i think there's another section after this that i have to get to it <clears throat> uh no yeah, yeah there's different phases that you have to go through when you're fighting this guy so just try and fire as much as you can in between the intervals when he's firing like this this part is usually pretty easy. It's the rest of the entire boss fight that sucks. So, take him down first time. Not a big deal. And then you get- there's- there's these guys. Which, there's no point into defeating them, I just like to do it. And then there is- you go down here and you collect this. Nice. Uh, these get double damage, so it's easier to take down these guys, even though, again, you don't have to, but it's mainly used for taking down the helicopters, which are the worst. Shit, I could have gone through that without getting hurt, like, once, but I am stupid. These guys, you can't attack them and take them down or anything, so that sucks, but it's okay, because I'm already at the next fight. So now he's closer now. I never noticed it before, but he does get closer, so that way it's a little more difficult, then you gotta avoid this. You suck. You suck. Try and bring him down as much as possible, because then it'll be easier to avoid. And then he'll come back up, of course, but if you, like, have him all the way up there, when he does it, then you're kind of screwed for hearts. So try and keep him as low in the screen as possible. And go after him and take out these guys because they're gonna pose a threat regardless of what you do. <clears throat> Go up here. You're gonna suck for a second. These guys suck. Ow. Take down you. you suck. You suck. I hate this part because it's so Grunch. Okay, you can just get these in the levels. I thought that you had to get them in the boss fight. I didn't watch my video all the way through. I just looked to how you do Jay's section again, and then I remember why it sucks. So it's not as bad now because I've gotten better at it over the years. But, oh, you can avoid those just by going back. Okay. Yeah, these ones. These are the ones that suck. Those ones, because they spin and they get bigger, and if you get caught with those, then you are the suck. You are the die. Yay! So, again, it's not that hard if you actually know what you're doing. I never knew what I was doing when I was younger. Highly. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now this one. 
This one also sucks. This one is like, um, like Jay's level, except like not, because you have to actually go through the level. Um, I'm gonna go get that one because I have to like go up here because I can't I can't jump that. But then I can get the double jump, and then it's easier just for me to get back up here, and then I can jump like that. And this level sucks because, like, when you fall, you're kind of fucked. <clears throat> I'm dying, excuse me. And double damage because these guys suck. But you can just, like, avoid them, so it's not really that big of a deal unless you get confronted with them, like, up here. But of course the double damage wears off by the time you get up here. Uh, cause these guys have a good amount of health, and I don't. I, I'm just a little ninja, dude. I'm just a little man, and you're in my way. There's no point to defeating these guys cause there's not a score system or anything that I remember. But still, and this level sucks because these exist. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and go over here. I don't really need that, but I'm, I'm gonna be forced to collect it regardless. Ow, why did I turn around? Uh, wee! Uh, I don't remember which direction it matters. Ah, this one, yes. Okay, so it did matter the direction, because I could have totally missed that. Um, go up here. Sorry if I'm not giving the greatest commentary. I am one very tired and my throat hurts now because of whatever happened before. And also I don't know what to say. I get I get like super focused when I play games like these. Now this part sucks. Yeah. Because of the speed. Cuz you have to go fast. But then you suck and then the double damage wears off pretty fast. Everything kind of wears off fast when you're playing this game because you're supposed to get through that with the speed because it's just easier that way But it's not so you have to face these guys. I don't need to fight you So I need double jump here we because I need to get up here and this part also sucks like that one part in Cole's level. Yes, it was Cole's level wasn't it? Yes, but now I'm up here so, we now get to the boss fight, and there is a token here that you can get, and auto fire, always turn that on. I don't remember when this part happened in the series. I didn't pay a lot of attention when I was actually watching the series, to be honest. <clears throat> Next is this one. Lloyd's level sucks. Um, who are we missing? Oh, Zane! Yeah, this game was released when season four was a thing. Before season four was a thing. After season three, whatever. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this slow sucks. Whine about it. Let me. I hate you. I hate you. <clears throat> you suck. This level sucks. I have a speed boost now. Why do I need to speed boost? Oh yeah, because these things move. So it's pretty easy to avoid them if they come from there. So... Like, even without the speed boost, it's not that difficult. You just have to really... This, this fight's gonna definitely be a little bit longer. I did not even mean to get that. I didn't even pay attention. It's still not good to stay in one place, but like, it's gonna happen regardless. And there's a very specific hitbox that you have to hit in this fight, or else you're gonna suck. And I am not hitting that, because these things suck. This is the suckening! It's specifically, like, the top of the head and in the area of the eyes where everything is. Now, eventually, things are gonna get very hard in this level. Because... I'm gonna have to deal with these sons of bitches spinning. <laughs> Damage. Good. Yeah, because these things start spinning. When these things start spinning, things ain't good. I can't even hit you once, and I have double damage on. That sucked. Yeah, these-
it starts to spin in and stuff. And then that's not good. Sorry for the recording continuing to stop. I got hurt because of it, but that's okay. Speed. At least that would be very nice. You fire faster when you have the speed boost too. What the hell? I never noticed that before. I thought that would be obvious. I'm just dumb. You're good at firing where I can't hit you. Yeah, Lloyd's level sucks. These go away after a bit of time, so it's good to just collect them right on the spot. Pretty much. Yes! And then you get the token! Yes! This level sucks. This level sucks balls. Music's not too loud, which is a good thing. Except it might still be shitty on the recording. It's okay, you didn't come here to listen to the audio of the game. Come on. I'm very close. No! They start spinning and they start bouncing. What is this? Ugh, I haven't played this game in so long. I'm so surprised they took everything off of CartoonNetwork.com. I, di I didn't... Bleh. They kept a lot of the old games. Um, but, like, I guess they were, like, too glitchy and stuff. And also the Flash game, so they just saw. I win! Yay! And that's the end of the game. Now I dance around this area. Yeah. Yeah! So I beat the game. And it goes into the story. <laughs> because, you know, Zane's not here. So, okay. So Zane's level is the last level. Um, we do actually have Zane's level. But this is pre-season 4. Which nobody really cares about where it seems from. But still. But yeah, this game was released before... Season 4 came out, I believe. If I'm remembering correctly, I played this when Season 4 was, like, in production, basically. Or they were going through Season 3? No, because this- because, um... <clears throat> I have to get to the end of the game to figure that out, but, um... I don't need that. I'm good at this game. Uh, because... Uh, this shows the original Zane, which is, like, Season one to three, the finale, and at the end of the game, if I'm remembering right, then it, they talk about how they're upset and everything because Zane isn't there, and that's why Wu is telling them the story of how Zane was, it's one thing that he did to save them while he wasn't there. So yeah, this is like between the time skip of season three to four, I think. I have to go up here because speed boost. Hell yeah, speed. One more double jump, but that's okay. You, I don't even need you. Uh, most of these that I'm gonna get are have to be during the boss fight. Look out below. Yeah, this level sucks. <clears throat> All these levels kind of suck. Kai's and Cole's are pretty easy. Like, it's harder for, um... It's harder for Cole's if you want to get, um... The tokens because of that one part that I had the difficulty with and everything. Uh... Jay's and Lloyd's in terms of, like, actual gameplay are probably the hardest. Uh, everything else is pretty simple, like, if you're not looking for tokens. Then things don't suck as much. Uh, uh, Zane's level is pretty okay for what it is. You just have to look out below and not jump into those things like my dumbass dude. <laughs> and just keep hitting the eyes. Um, that's a pretty big gap there, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to jump that. I think I'll be able to. The jump isn't that bad. But, oh, cool. Wait, token. That's not a coin. That is a token. Yeah, um, things that will get a lot harder because of all the platforms disappearing, so you really gotta watch it. Um, cause you never know when he's gonna pop up, cause then it'll screw you over if you're in, like, a really bad area by the time he pops up. Cause they'll pop up, like, in these areas that are open now, but he'll still come under the ground below you. It just, again, it just depends on where you are where this level sucks. And of course, if you're like me, then you want to get the tokens, so you have to look around a lot. So yeah, he takes out more of the ground. 
And you have to keep jumping and everything because you gotta... <laughs> this is getting risky. Oh no. Oh no. Um, I, I am invincible. Ah, you suck. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's really risky jumps there, and if you get screwed over, then, like, things are... You suck, basically. <clears throat> yeah, anywhere there's an opening, those tentacles will start to pop up, and these are very hard to jump. And if you get caught in an area like this, it's pretty okay. Um, and it all depends on, like, <clears throat> where you are that things get the most difficult. Since there's a double platform here, I'm just gonna keep it. <clears throat> Because I've basically screwed myself over with everything else, which is just difficult jumps now. So, unless I move around and want to get another token, then I should stay here. And I also have to get... It's not, now you give me double damage when he's not even here. I see how it is. Okay. So, yeah. I have to really be careful because it's only these areas. Like, he typically doesn't appear on these areas. Um, he doesn't appear, like, right underneath you. And he doesn't appear on those double areas, which is where it needs to be the most. Yes, this. And I'll stay here. And the tentacles pop up. And now I have to be really careful because I'm only on four hearts, and you only have eight hearts in this game. But I think I'm gonna stay here because this seems like a safe space. I just gotta be sure that I don't get hit again. And I took out all the eyes on that one, which is really what you want to do. Uh, and then when those pop up, you just gotta stay in place, basically. I tend to stay here on these areas because when I hate jumping over those double gaps. And two, it's just a safe space because he can't appear directly underneath you. Of course, it's gonna be difficult because of being able to jump so close to you, but... <clears throat> It's better than going to the areas, like, right at the direct corners of the map, which actually I think I'm gonna do, just because. He pops up anywhere, but he usually tries to appear really close to you. Which sucks. Because ah, now you're left with only these, pretty much. And when you get the double jump, that's the really good thing for you, because then you don't have to worry about falling as easy. <clears throat> really gotta be careful here. Scrunch. <clears throat> I can't. I can't get hit anymore. That's that's a, that's the rule now. I just I can't. If I get hit again, I am probably going to die. And since I'm so close to beating it, I really need to be careful here. So I gotta see where it's gonna pop up. It's gonna pop up underneath me again, or it'll pop up over there, which is really good actually. Because now, yes. And then the ground reforms. Yeah, I am the greatest. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, this is this is like in the in between like season three, four time skips. So continue, and then you have all the levels so that you can go through them again. But I don't need to because I have beaten the game. And there's actually credits and stuff here, of course. Here settings and everything. Nobody cares. But that's me just playing the game. <clears throat> it's not that difficult of a game when you actually know what you're doing but uh, if, you, if you're like a first time player and you're going through Jay or Lloyd's levels then it sucks cause this one's you really have to take advantage of where he shoots and everything and for Zane's you just have to be good at jumping over large gaps without a double jump which is very difficult if you're a first time player uh, I, I had a lot of difficulty with the last three levels, of course. Kai and Cole's aren't that difficult because it's pretty easy to tell what you're supposed to be doing. Kai's level is basically a tutorial level, and the only difficulty in Cole's is if you're not basically spamming your spacebar because of when the pirates show up and then when you have to get rid of the birds and everything. Um, and Lloyd and Jay's, you can have auto fire on, so it isn't that difficult unless you get in areas like I got caught in where there was a helicopter and then a bunch of the, uh, serpentine, I think, uh, that were at the bottom. But these ones aren't that difficult if you really pay attention 
to what you're supposed to be doing in the instructions. So that is all the time that I have for this video, unfortunately. I might have something out next week. I'll try, okay? Love you guys.